Chapter 3, The Novel's Extra, Cube 3. Guns were still excellent weapons in this world, but that was only for ordinary soldiers who couldn't wield mana. Rather than traditional bullets, this world's guns used magic bullets. Bullets containing compressed mana with the power to kill low intermediate rank grade 8 monsters. In comparison, the training saber said to cost 5 million wong could only kill low rank monsters on average, so the gun was a stronger weapon on its own. But heroes and mercenaries who could wield magic power didn't choose guns. That was because magic power couldn't be applied to guns. So no matter how strong the user of the gun was, the weapon had a clear limit in potency. potency. In choosing a main weapon, the most important aspect was its origin. In, order, in short, a weapon's grade went up the grander its origin was. For instance, guns were separated into three grades. Mass-produced, custom-made, or masterpiece. Swords, on the other hand, much more. Artifact, artifact, armament, treasured, mythical, legendary, etc. This was because myths and legends were manifested in this world. The sword was a weapon of a long and deep history. Naturally, many swords have descended from myths and legends. The sword of Frey, Demon Blade, Muramasa, Magic Sword, Tai Fling, Holy Sword, Dereldal, King Sword Excalibur, etc. In this world, many swords of legends remained undiscovered in dungeons or towers, each of them was a priceless treasure. Of course, these treasures could only be used by those who were proficient in swords. Consequently, skewers chose more ancient weapons, even though they reached a bottleneck in their growth, a higher grade weapon could help them break. Kim Chong Dong, Kim Suwa, Su Kim, called my name once for activating the smart watch. For some reason, I could see the information in by the information protection system. It was information about me, Cadet Kim Chung Dong. Didn't you use a sword? As expected of an extra. Kim Chung Dong was an ordinary swordsman. I decided to change my weapon. After coming all the way to Q? Yes. Kim Suk Kim didn't look happy with my choice, but he thought it would like a slave for him. That's fine. Cadets can make their own choices at Q. The structures won't interfere at all. That also means the responsibility falls on the cadets. Kim Suk Kim may moved on. Students did stop. Whispers that should have been too quiet for me to hear, but for some reason I could hear them clearly. It seems that Ch Chundo was given. How useless. Is that guy insane? Why did he become the cube if he wanted to be a mercenary? Before entering cube, cadets got to try all sorts of weapons. It was to find the weapon that suited their gift. But a gift wasn't needed to use guns. You just had to put your finger on the trigger and pull. You can easily change the main weapon you choose today, regardless of what you chose. With the same training and tests. That means the weaknesses of a weapon will be yours to handle. Kim Soon Hook uh, announced it while looking my way. I get it, damn it. I, didn't, I just didn't have any other choice. The cadets here have been attending military academies since they were seven or eight. In other words, they've been practicing cutting, slicing, breaking, and shooting for just 20 years. But I was different. I didn't inherit Chun Dong's memories. I was far from a swordsman in the real world. Heck, I wasn't even into sports. I wasn't much of a thrill seeker either. In the end, I could only choose a long-range weapon, so a bow or a gun. Thanks to Korea's military service, I was at least familiar with guns. Now we'll assign you to your rooms and your personal belongings will be sent there. Afterwards, you're free. Classes will start four days later. That's next Monday. Kim Seok spoke as he looked at me with pity, and thus the main weapon selection ended. Yo, Gunner, are you for real? I just don't understand. Are you one of those attention seekers? This is the first time I've heard of someone choosing a gun at Cube. On the way to the dorm, a group of guys struck up a conversation. I simply ignored their sarcastic remarks, seeing me unperturbed by their provo provocation. The group left after snickering to themselves. As expected of teenage boys, they were more interested in female students. Even as I turned my sights their way, Chen Yung, Rachel, and Yu Yong Ha, these three girls' beauties had far surpassed my settings. While I observed them with a side glance, we arrived at the dorm. Here are the dorms for the first years. Six extravagant skyscrapers stood in front of me. According to Kim Suk, each building had 100 floors, each consisting of five rooms. The rooms were distributed according to grades, but even if one's grades were dead bottom, they still had their own room. Asian Military Academy's top three male and top three female cadets got the penthouses. Kim Suk was the only one who gave up on it, saying it was too big for him to use. Guys to the right, girls to the left. Keys to your rooms are stored in the smartwatches you get in the room. While Kim Siu explained, other first year classes arrived. If I remember correctly, the first year classes were Veritas, Acceptance, Intelligence, Wisdom, Cultivation, Honor, Virtue, Friendship, Potential, and Moral. A total of 10 classes. I tried looking for 
got angry momentarily, but I generously chose to forgive them. Since I didn't have a way to get back at them, I didn't have any other choice. The room assigned to me was bigger than Shindo's apartment. I came to with a couch, bed, rice cooker, TV, computer, and even magic tools. I still can't get used to it. Slouching down on the comfy couch, I pondered the weight of the handgun in my hand didn't feel real. Thinking about it now, uh, it might have been better to leave Cube if I was going to choose a gun. Having been a cadet at the Asian Military Academy should have been enough to let me live without starving. But my problem didn't end there. Why was I sent to this world, and how could I go back? To find out, I had the feeling I needed to stay close to the main storyline. Though I doubted I could get too close with it just a gun. Should I try shooting it to see its power? Hmm. I thought of something good. Jumping up from the couch, I aimed at the wall, closed my left eye, and just when I was about to pull the trigger, ding dong, a bell rang. An electric voice rang out beyond the door. Rank 934, Kim Chung Dong, take your luggage. It was a robot. Throwing the gun on the couch, I opened the door and saw a fairly large box on the ground. It seemed Chun Dong sent his belongings beforehand. I picked up the box and brought it in. Agent Military Academy Rank 1543. Hero Military Academy Rank 934. Kim Chun Dong. Personal Belongings. Rank 934. Wasn't that too average? With a smirk, I pulled off the tape. Huh? There was only a single item in the big box, but I knew what it was. That This wasn't Chun Dong's, but mine. This was from my previous life. Though it felt a bit weird to call it a previous life. Anyway, this was the laptop I used on Earth to write my novel.